But the next page is kind of more important because it takes that information and it kind of translates it to, okay, but well, what are my bills going to be? So looking at um, month by month, I'll, and this is this is a very important page because a lot of solar companies will mislead you. They'll start. They'll say things like, "You'll never have a bill with APS." Mm, that's, mm. that's not true, and there's proof right here. Um, or they'll say you'll only pay twenty dollars a month. You know, those days are gone. That's not how it works because right. the, again, the buyback rate changes. Um, so look based off of that solar production and based off of that usage history. So I don't know how you're going to use power in the future, but based off the history, this kind of goes into how am I, how am I going to be billed after having solar? So looking at January before, um, you paid about $138 to APS with solar, you're going to be paying about $32. Mm-hmm. So a little over a hundred dollars savings yeah. there. And then you can see as it goes, you get into March, April and May and early June, you actually have a negative bill. That's because in those months, you're producing a lot more than you're using because during those months, hopefully um, you're not running your AC. You guys running your AC right now? No. No heater? No. But you're, but it's still heater. sunny out. Well, not today, but it's still, right. it's still sunny out most of the time. And that power has to go somewhere. So APS buys that extra power from you. So you're producing way more than you're using. APS buys it. That's why you get those bill credits. And those bill credits is kind of like a savings account. They transfer over month by month. Okay. Those months are very important. I always tell people though those months that's when you build up your savings account to apply in the summer. Because right. in the summertime everything's flipped. In the summertime we use more than we produce. So right. 